So you want to fix out that gross apartment or dorm you're subletting this summer, but don't want to lose your deposit? Here are some easy ways to brighten up your space without permanent damage. This is 28 Decorating Tricks to Brighten Up Your Rented Home or Apartment by Gabby Nooney. 1. Cover wall in these super easy tape diamonds. Shine bright like a washi tape diamond. 2. Use scrapbooking paper to make a bird-shaped decal. Follow tutorial link we provided, but hang with a painter's tape instead of Mod Podge. 3. Affix fake flowers to the wall. For $20 and an hour of our time, we managed to get spring to come a bit earlier in Wisconsin. Not bad. Not bad at all. 4. Or go one step further and hang homemade paper flowers. All you need to prepare is a printable pattern you can download free. Letterweight paper, scissors, hot glue gun, and floral wire. To minimize errors and disappointment, visit the link provided in Setter Info. 5. Turn your photos into faux Polaroid and hang them on a small clothesline. You're only a few steps away from your very own selfie shrine. You don't have to hang the photos against a blank wall for sure. If you want to display photos of your cross-country road trip, for example, you could get a cool-looking map and use that as the background. 6. Transform your Instas into art. Use this method to make your lat pics last forever, or at least until you move out. The most important things to remember when making a grid collage is that the outer edges need to be very straight and the spacing on the inside should be consistent. Using the tape to space each photo makes it super easy to be consistent. 7. Tape paper streamers along the length of a wall. A photo booth backdrop you can make with a few colors of crepe paper, masking tape, and scissors. The backdrop took 30 minutes to put together and about 30 seconds to break down, so it's perfect if you're in a time crunch for a party. 8. Create fake picture frames out of washi tape. 9. Make a standalone sign. After all, home is where the upcycled styrofoam sign is. 10. Layer different colored doilies on a wall. Use painter's tape and start taping doilies from the bottom of the wall to achieve a wallpaper-like effect. Estimated budget $12. Difficulty easy. Estimated time 30 minutes. Tools and supplies. 8-inch paper doilies and an assortment of colors and glue dots. 11. Place oversized wood art against a wall. Follow these instructions. 1. Supplies needed. Thick floral wire, wire cutters, hot glue, small silk blooms, and fabric cut into long half-inch strips. Note, you don't need floral tape. 2. Use multiple layers of wire to shape large letters. Our letters are about 13 inches tall. Mimic your favorite font. Ours is modeled after strange love. Or create your own cursive word. 3. Using hot glue on the ends, wrap the wire letters completely with fabric strips. This will make them much easier to glue to and cover any sharp wire edges. 4. Carefully use hot glue to adhere silk blooms around the entire front surface of the letters. When you are done, go back and add more flowers to certain spots to give it a fuller appearance. 12. Hang an office supply organizer that doubles as art. Sew by following a tutorial provided on the other site and hang with temporary hooks. When moving out, just roll the organizer up with the supplies inside for easy transportation. 13. Create an oversized confetti mural. Simply take colored pieces of paper, cut them into circles, and stick them to the wall using painter's tape or poster tack. 14. Make scalloped borders for your shelves. All you need are post-its and tape to feel like you live in Hello Kitty's house. 15. Use Velcro strips to hang frame photos. 16. Use paper to create geometric patchwork art. You can even make it closer to your bed, so it doubles as a temporary headboard. Step 1. Choosing your colors. Step 2. Cut the paper. Cut all the paper into 12.5 centimeters, 5 inch squares first, and then cut them in half into triangles. Step 3. Get your workspace ready. Step 4. Design and layout. Step 5. Fine tune your design. Step 6. Now, take a photo, just in case your dog or child comes running in or someone opens the door and a gust of wind blows all your hard work away. Step 7. Prepare the backing board. Cut the foam core in half so you have two pieces that measure 32 by 20 inches. Step 8. Assembly. Step 9. Finishing up. When you've completed both boards, trim off the edges and any pieces that aren't lining up. Step 10. Hang your art. 17. Or make it heart-shaped. It was simple and inexpensive. You will need 10 sheets of scrapbook paper to make 20 triangles. I used 4 light pink, 3 dark pink, and 3 metallic gold ones. Simply cut your scrapbook paper in half diagonally, then play around with the design and pattern that you like. Next, stick them to your wall with glue dots. I started by marking one straight line with a level and chalk because it gave me a guide to start with and kept everything straight. Check info to find the video tutorial. 
18. Collage paper circles into a happy piece of art. Paper circles, not just giant confetti. Step 1. Punch lots of circles from your colorful cardstock. Step 2. Mark your piece of wood along the edge at half the size of your circles. My circles were 2 inches. Then connect the dots and make lines across the wood to guide you. Step 3. Using your lines to guide each row, get to gluing. Step 4. Let each row of circles hang on top of the row below. That creates your scallops. Yay! Now our shelf has something on it besides dust. 19. Hang a colorful garland around your door. 20. Transform an old shutter door into an organizer. No need to nail anything into the wall, and you can customize it to use in all sorts of rooms. Organizing on a door is great for a small space, since a door can lead against any wall. 21. Turn 600 plus paint chips into a beautiful wall installation. The next best thing to actually painting your walls. Create the size of the space on the floor using masking tape. Lay out the color combination you're looking for. Consider using blue painter's tape. And then adhere to the wall with your favorite glue, depending on how permanent you want it. 22. Make your own giant photo mural. 17 detailed instructions on, with, and whistle. For this DIY, you need a high-resolution digital photograph, a reasonably fast computer, a newish version of Photoshop, and basic Photoshop skills. If those requirements discourage you already, try 23. Craft your own marquee letter. You may live in a terrible apartment, but that doesn't mean you can't live like a star. Step 1. Cut your letter. Step 2. Sand your letter. Step 3. Paint your letter. Step 4. Measure and mark for lights. Step 5. Cut holes for the bulbs. Step 6. Insert the bulbs. Finish. 24. Sew some big, colorful floor cushions. 1. Print the template provided in the tutorial link. 2. Cut and arrange the fabric. 3. Assemble the wedges. 4. Sew the wedges. 5. Iron. 6. Sew the remaining wedges. 7. Sew the other half. 8. Join the two halves. 9. Iron the seam allowance. 10. Stuff the pouf. 11. Make the tuft. And 12. Add the buttons. Done. 25. Create temporary wallpaper using fabric and starch. You can do this on nearly any flat surface. The fabric should easily peel off when it's time for you to move out. This fabric is fairly thin cotton from Ikea. It's called Britain Huss and designed by someone named Emma Jones. First, you need mix-up paste. Boil four cups of water in a pot. Mix about three eighths cup of cornstarch with a little water in a small bowl until the powder is dissolved. Add the cornstarch mixture to the water slowly while stirring, and then boil until thickened and then let it cool. 2. Measure the area you want to wallpaper and cut your fabric to size. 3. Brush the entire door with paste, then begin applying fabric from the top down, adjusting and smoothing as you go. 4. Use a scissors or X-Acto knife to cut around any obstacles. 5. Back around the sides of the door and brush on a little extra paste to smooth down any loose threads and keep the raw ends from fraying. And done. The end result is smooth and perfectly wrinkles-free, removable wallpaper. 26 or just give off a wallpaper effect with this geometric triangle blocks wall hanging. If you have to, you can even repurpose an old sheet. 27. Use large sheets of scrapbook paper as a temporary headboard and last 28. Cluster a bunch of paper flowers together. One package of tissue paper should yield one gigantic flower. Before you leave, we have 16 ways to use vinyl electrical tape to decor your house. 1. Spruce up appliances. 2. Black Stripes 3. Modern Wool Art 4. Canvas Art 5. Funky Floor Treatment 6. Modern Floor Treatment 7. Washi Tape for Walls 8. 3-inch Electrical Tape 9. Self-Illusion 10. Warning Sign 11. Creatures. 12. Fancy door. 13. Fancy hula hoops. 14. Imaginary roads. 15. Pretty blue pattern. You can even use electrical tape as an accessory. And 16. Paper clips and tape. Check info if one of these ideas draws your attention and forces you to pause the video. Drop your life, share, or comment if you're still listening to me. And don't forget to press the subscribe button if you start to have a crush on this channel. Thanks for watching.